Hi there, today we will be learning more about the Smart Grid on the Shopify Point of Sale app. To start, let's create a new page. When we click on create a new page, we're able to select any kind of tiles that you would like to show up on your home page so that you have quick access to that type of activity. So let's take a look at action to start. There's many different actions that you can add to the Smart Grid. So what you'll want to do is take a look at your options and choose the most commonly used uh, actions or the most common activities that you would need to do on a day to day so that you will have quick access to it on the home page here. So let's take a look at adding a customer. If we wanted that to be a tile, I would just click add over here. Hi there, today we'll be learning more about the Smart Grid. Your Smart Grid will show up on your home screen and will show any kind of tiles that you place on that grid so that you have quick access to do those types of actions. To start, let's create a new page. From here, you have different categories of tiles that you can add to the home screen. Let's start with action. What I would encourage you to do is take a look at all of the different options here and just think about what your team is doing most frequently on a day to day. So near the top here, we have add customer. This will allow you to add a customer to the cart. This does seem like a common action, so let's add it as a tile. So now you'll see that add customer has shown up as a tile. This will give you quick access to add a customer to that cart if you just simply tap on it. Now that I've tapped on that tile, I'm able to search for a customer or create a new one. I'll just search for one of my existing customers in here and add them to the cart. Now you'll notice that the tile has changed. So it's now, now it's in a red color and it says remove customer instead of add customer. All tiles in the Shopify point of sale system are reactive to how the cart looks like. So because there is a customer added to the cart already, the tile for adding a customer has changed to remove the customer that's currently added to the cart. All of these tiles are reactive. So now it's turned blue again, and I can add a different customer to the cart. Let's go through another example. So let's go to add a tile again and another action. And this time let's do add discount. I'll hit done here. You'll no notice that the new tile for adding a discount is grayed out. This is because there are no items in the cart and so we cannot discount anything. So this is just to prove that the tiles are reactive and will only light up or be clickable if there is something that it can do with that particular order. So let's add some items so that we can use that discount button. Now, if you're use, looking to use the iPad screen to find your products, there's two options for you. So we can add a tile for collection or we can add a tile for product. With the product tile, this will have you choose a specific item, add it to the grid as a tile, and that will allow you to add it to the cart immediately. And as you can see, once I added that product to the cart, this add discount button had uh, started to light up and we're able to use that tile because it is valid with this cart. So if I were to click add discount, I can do a dollar amount off, percent off, or use a discount code. Let's just save a $10 discount there. And again, you're seeing that it has changed since I have added a discount to the cart. We can click on that same button to remove it now. Just to go through that, other example that I had talked about of the collection, just to, to show you what the difference is in the tiles. If I were to click on collection, it's showing me any groups of products that I have collected, or sorry, any groups of products that I have created, 
in the Shopify admin so that I can add it as a tile. So let's just use tops as an example here. And how that will differ with the yoga mat tile over here is that I will click on the tops collection and I'll have to have um, another click to actually add that product from that collection to the cart. So it's showing me the groups of products before it's adding anything to the cart there. So again, I do encourage you to take a look at all of your options here and try to think about what makes sense for your business. And just think about the most frequently used actions or frequently um, used tasks that would be important for you to check out your customers and create a homepage that would reflect a workflow that makes sense for your business. There is the option to create multiple pages. So if I use my finger and I swipe to the left or right, you can take a look at different pages with different tiles or different grids that have been customized. So you can use that for reasons such as seasonality. So maybe you have a promotion right now that would um, incorporate specific discounts to be used or specific products that are commonly sold during uh, a time period of some sort. Or maybe there's just specific workflows that people would prefer to have on their home screen. So different staff can have different pages as well. It's completely up to you. I hope that does help you learn more about how to use a smart grid. Have fun.